Hey guys, what's up? I have been so excited to make this video because you guys have requested it. You have seen my tree and my decorations, my basically candy wonderland theme that has grown over the years, especially this year. You've seen it all on Snapchat and on Instagram and I got asked so many questions about it and how I decorated my tree. So I figured I would do a Candyland tree breakdown of exactly where I got everything and show you guys how I did it. So a lot of my decorations have been built up over the years. It's quite a big collection now. A lot of it has come from Home Depot and Rona and Michaels, a ton of it from Michaels this year. And I think that the majority of the fabulousness of the tree comes from the sticks that I'm showing you here. And that really is what adds so much character to the Candyland tree. Then of course I have extra large ornaments that really fill the tree and I'm gonna show you exactly how I do that. And this year I found this Candyland tree skirt at Michael's on sale. It was like 60% off, which is so perfect. It's like the peppermint theme just comes together. The other thing that I got this year that was new, since we have a new house, I needed a bigger tree. I actually got a tree, and I think I was pretty lucky to get this. I got it from Andre's parents and it fits our high ceilings. It's a bigger tree, it was pre-lit, so much better. And if you can invest in a good tree, I would say do so because the tree I had last year was, I think like a $30 tree from Walmart and it was just so much harder to decorate and put together. This one was already in pieces and pre-lit and I just had to turn it all on. And I really got a head start so much faster because of that. So if you can, I know that trendytree.com has beautiful trees, all different colors. And I know that Costco always has some great ones too. So I went ahead and added my own lights as well. I had Mickey lights and just a precursor to this whole thing, guys, this is gonna be a Candyland Disney theme tree because if, any, if you follow me, you know that I love Disney. So the next thing that I did after it was all lit up I added a lot of filler and you're gonna see how I got this tree to look so full and so rich through all of these different layers. So the first layer was this red burlap glitter ribbon that's quite thick but very bendable and I would just bend it into the tree, almost treating it like a candy ribbon kind of flowing down from the top of the tree. And I really, really made it a point to stick it in to the depth of the tree as much as I could so that it wasn't protruding too much and it really was in the background by the time I was done. The next thing that I did is I do the top. I don't put a star at the top of my tree. I don't have an angel at the top of my tree. I've always done this. I have this light up twig thing that I got from bow rings back in the day. I'm sure you can get this off of Amazon. And it the cord just runs down the back of my tree and I plug it in. But what I do is I stick that in the top of the tree and then I have a bunch of sticks that kind of go with it. And I just keep building that up through doing the ribbon at the same time. So once I've done that red burlap ribbon, I have another ribbon that kind of just lays over top of it, you can see here, that's like a pinstripe candy cane type of ribbon that's also bendable. And I have to say, this is the beauty of having a fake tree. You can bend the little branches in place to hold in your ribbon. So you can kind of see how it twirls down the tree and it really does fill in the tree as well. And guys, I have to say I watched like five different Christmas movies through the process of doing this tree. It took so long and I had a lot of eggnog to keep me going. So I kept going with the sticks at the top of the tree and I have to say that the top of the tree and the bottom of the tree, which we're gonna get to, are the two most important parts for different reasons. So the top of the tree has so much in it, so many different sticks. The first thing I added was, like I said, that light up branch and then I had these little red glitter twigs basically. And then I had these like confetti looking party red things that I got at Rona. And I just kept adding all these different types of twigs. They all really keep to the same color theme. Either they are a red glitter color and then I have every once in a while, a couple of green pieces that go in there as well. So the way that this thing really starts to come together is the oversized ornaments. Uh, I got these pinstriped ones and the green polka dot ones at Walmart and they came in packs of three large balls and then they came with like a bunch of little balls. So I got two big sets of it and it was honestly super reasonable. And I focus on the base of the tree for this so that it really fills up the bottom 
and makes it look super dense in the bottom of the tree. The other thing I did, and you'll see this at the end, is I added a little miniature ladder for my elf at the bottom, and that also added a lot of depth and width as well to the tree. The other thing that I do to add width is I put in these big fake lollipops at the bottom, as well as these extra large candies and candy canes, which I got at Rona. Both of them are from Rona, the candy canes and the extra large candies. So you can also see how I added a lot of width by using the sticks at the bottom of the tree also. And this, to me, adds to the chaotic look that everybody is kind of aiming for, it seems. Trying to get that like Dr. Seuss organized chaos look, that's how you do it. You use a ton of these different types of sticks that have swirls at the end of them. You can see how many I have here. And these are all accumulated over the years. Um, most of them from Rona, I got a lot online. And I'll put all the links from where I get this stuff below. And I think that it's super important to note that as you can see, I really kept to a color theme. There is no golds in here, um, no silvers at all, no blue. I really kept to the peppermint colors and then pops of green every now and then. And everything is glittered as well. These candy ornaments were super cheap. They were at Walmart on sale one year and they go at the top of my tree and add to the chaos. The other thing that I love is those little elf feet. I don't know if you noticed those. I got those at Michael's as well as Shelby beholiday.com. I will show you that link as well. I got a couple elves from there this year and a couple different candy ornaments. Then the greatest tip that I ever came up with was this idea of using filler red ornaments and just stuffing them into the tree. I don't hang them. I stuff them into the back of the tree and that adds so much depth to the tree and just makes it appear more full. So I grab, first I grab the red ornaments and then I grab the berries and I just kind of sprinkle them all over the tree. And yes, it is a joy to clean up by the time Christmas is over. And then I go in with the smaller ornaments and a lot of people just focus on this for their entire tree, but you can see how little I actually have. They're just little special pieces. A lot of them are Disney themed that I've gotten at Disney World over the years or at the Disney store. And I got a new little gingerbread home ornament this year. The rest of them really fit into the theme. They're either peppermint themed or candy themed. And I just kind of sprinkle them sparsely across the tree, but there isn't a ton. The majority of the decorations of this tree are really those sticks and the depth that I added in the beginning from the ornaments that are just thrown in there. And that way you're not feeling like you're hanging a bunch of stuff the whole time. So like I said, this tree took me from about three o'clock in the afternoon to one in the morning, but that was with Christmas movies and eggnog. And this is the finished product on Christmas Eve. I have my little elf ladder that my little brother made for me. He actually makes them. I can link his website down below as well. He's made me a white one and a red glitter one. And I actually just kind of put my elves on them like they've decorated the tree and it really adds to the theme. So we have all of our presents wrapped. I theme wrap them as well. Some things that I've added since the filming of me making the video was just some floral sticks. You can see the little red glitter swirly sticks. I got them at the grocery store and they were 99 cents at the checkout. So I thought that it really was on point with the tree. And that's the best way to build this type of tree is just build your collection over the years. So 
So as you can see, our gift wrapping really matches the tree. We just got the ribbons at Michael's whenever I was getting the decorations for the tree. And this year I set up a village as well. And I know that our collection for this new house is gonna grow. We already got so much stuff for the new house because we just have so much more space for Christmas decorations, which I'm sure Andre is thrilled about, but I am obsessed with our village. We have a little part of the Disney village and then the rest are from Limax. I hope all of this was helpful for you guys and I hope that you truly enjoy your Christmas and that it's magical and you guys enjoy your Christmas decorating process. If you have any questions at all, do not hesitate to ask them down below. I am here for you. And if you have any suggestions for how you decorate your tree, do not hesitate to share that as well. I wish you guys a very Merry Christmas and I will see you guys soon. Bye dudes.